Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. It's not, it's not true. And I want to tell you that you see, some of you, but they will come and they are coming to, to cheat you. That no longer, but me apple HH, things will be okay. Hey, how we want to achieve more half mepo? I want to tell you, the situation as it is, a kalum bafi ndemi ba nishila pa. But I'm 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 swearing, the situation would have been worse off. Mungu mfuikishi. I also na 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 pusu na. I wish I was munga nda munga nda nde punda pano. The situation we are in is far much better off than if we had Balungu. This is a fact, and then yeah, but this is a fact. Balungu, if Balungu was leader by now, we are far much better off na HH. Not because of himself, uh -uh, uh -uh. not because HH is a genius, uh -uh. no. If anything, HH is not doing well. HH has not capitalized on the goodwill. HH has got goodwill. Things are better off in Zambia because HH has goodwill. HH has goodwill. Vahaka, Edgar Lungu had no goodwill. He had no goodwill. Na ngufeniku China kuine. Even China, don't let us not cheat here that Edgar Lungu had such a good, warm relationship with China. No, let us not lie. Let us not lie. If HHR, if Ed Galungo had so much good relationship with, with China, why didn't China help them to campaign? Why didn't China pump in money? China, why didn't China pump in money? Eh? Why didn't China pump in money? Even now, Mulilanda Chalibu, Takulimpia. If China really had that confidence in Haka in, in Ed Galungo, they would have given him money. They would have even invited him. They would have even invited him. They would have invited him. Xi Jinping would have invited him come to China. They, have, they would have invited him. So don't cheat that no, Edgar Lungu had goodwill. Edgar Lungu didn't have goodwill. Edgar Lungu had lost goodwill. So things would have been very bad. Because of goodwill, cover HH. But he is also not really grabbing that goodwill. He says he's a good negotiator, he's a good marketer. No, he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not a good marketer. I'm sorry. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm Real situations as they are. He's not a good marketer. Why do I say he's not a good marketer? He doesn't ask for the things that are needed. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't know what really is needed. He has got friends. Good friends. But he doesn't know what to ask them. He doesn't. Me, I'm a good marketer. I'm better off. Why? I told you that I set the agenda. And then I look for people to come in. People don't call me tayari. Trevor took payroll, payroll, so on, so on. Uh -uh. I set the agenda. And then I talk to people. They come in. Some of you are saying, hey, hey, now, hey, legal fees. Who is paying legal fees? You are saying, Taukwe Tamaligo, whatever, whatever. Yes. Yes. Taukwe Tempia. Yes. Because those lawyers who were coming, when I was fighting, each time I'm going to court, Ndakwa Tama lawyers. Do I pay those lawyers? No, I don't. Because I fight for a cause and I bring in those who have got of the who are of the same interest. That's how I have those lawyers. The moment I flipped, could I and even those lawyers have gone. 
Because I've changed their agenda. I've changed their agenda. That's how I lost those lawyers. But now this agenda, I've got this other agenda. This agenda which I've started. Other people are interested. And they are paying for those lawyers. They are paying for those lawyers. I am here because I've got an agenda. And those who agree with that agenda, now I become a rupiah. And that's how I'm able to, to fly. And I'm able to be in this hotel. I'm a good marketer. I am just a boy with nothing. But I am able, how is it that I'm able to fly? How is it that I'm able to be in this hotel? It is because I am able to draw people. I'm giving you an example. Bahaka in the he has got good will, but he is not marketing it well. He's not marketing it well to bring in things that will benefit the country. What are those things? For example, we are talking about, you know, commodity prices, commodity prices and whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, Zambia, I was with somebody on the plane and he told me, he said, you see, Zambia is very, is an easy country to manage because all Zambians eat in Shima. Zambia is different from these other countries where you find that the staple of food is different. In one region, Valeria rice. In one region, Valeria mata. Valeria, you know, they are eating uh, mirimiu. In another region, they are eating they are eating bananas. You know, he said Zambia. It's only mess. Now, so Bahaka in the Ichilema, at the moment, he has got this goodwill, and what we are struggling with is basically we don't have maize. That is what we are struggling with. That is what we are struggling with. But with the goodwill that Baaka in the HDMI enjoys, are you sure you are telling me he can't find a country that can be able to uh, supply us with maize? Are you sure? I am very sure that Baaka in the HDMI can actually mobilize some country that can bring in maize into our country. Stock up. Stock up. Eh? You remember during the time of uh, Avena Chiruba? Eh? Avena Chiruba. Who, who is this one? Uh, Deepak Patel. Na, na, na Guy Scott. Na Guy Scott. Guy Scott, because who sungu wakwe, you know, he had that goodwill because he was a vice president. Not Guy Scott. No, no, no. no. Yeah, he, 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 was, um, he, he was the agriculture minister by that time. He was a agriculture minister. He was a minister in Africa. He managed to bring in yellow maize in Zambia. Even now, why can't Waka in the the good marketer that he is, why can't he influence some other countries to bring in maize into Zambia? Why? Because just that can help. Of course, we need to close the borders. That's for sure. But if we flood the market with maize, Midi meal would be at least reduced. And we need that. Failure to having cheaper maize on the market, we will continue having escalating prices. I am a solution, Valeria and Dabaka in the HDMI. No, um, uh, we are paying farmers more and we are going to grow more maize and whatever, whatever, whatever. Those are not solutions. If, if farmers are going to, if uh, uh, millers are going to buy maize at an expensive price, how do you expect them to sell it cheaper? How? So what can only help for me is bringing more maize. And we have got countries, grain is not a problem. We have got countries that can flood the Zambia with maize. That is, that is, even even in Tuan Kane, uh, who went there, who, who was promised uh, Ruto recently met uh, 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 the president of Ukraine and they promised him maize. They promised him maize. They are going to send maize into, into Kenya. Why can't Vaka and HLMA do that? Vaka and HLMA is a darling of those kind of people. He's a darling of them. So anyway, the point is the point I'm trying to make here is that if Mumfuik Shasanap, I want you to really get me right. Don't be cheated, Zambians, my fellow Zambians. Don't be cheated. If uh, President Edgar Chagolung was president or had won the elections, things would have been bad. It would have been bad. This is a fact. It would have been worse off. 
it would have been worse off. We are better off because we are kind of children. Manama kwa toko kagu, kagood will. That kagood will brings in, ututuna tuma emoyu, ibaleta, shan, shan. Tulafu wako, it's not much, but it helps. Because kuleba kwa tuma commitment to tu, shani, shani, oh, shani, ka emoyu, what, what, what. These tuma commitments are cushioning us. But they are not enough. Baka in the children need to do more, need to utilize his goodwill. And at the moment, we don't have one leader that has the goodwill that Aka in the has. We don't have. Don't be cheated. So don't think, ah, well, ale yafi, ale yafi, ale yafi. Mm -mm. So number one, that is goodwill. Number two, changing a government is an expensive venture, Mwewandu. Mwila Ivepa. Don't be cheated. Changing government is an expensive venture. Removing Aka in the today, we will need to fire the army commander. We need to fire the, 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 the inspector general. We need to fire Banani, Banani. All that is expensive. And these people, but what are terms of conditions? So when you remove them, you pay so much. And apart from that, these people who are now there in government, they are making connection. They are learning ropes. They are learning how to do things. Even Frank Tayari in our number, you know, he was never a minister. Now he's a minister. So now he's also getting lines how to do things. He's learning ropes. Even Waka in the Ichirema, he's also learning ropes. Waka in the Ichirema of last year, uh, October, is different from Waka in the Ichirema of today. He has more connections. He has gotten to my connections, connections. So, capacity is being built. In other words, capacity is being built. Capacity is very important. If you want to develop as a country, a country will never develop if every day you are not building capacity. Capacity is only built by experience. Capacity is only built by experience. So if you are thinking that, no, you can keep on trying leaders. Today it's this one. Tomorrow, I'm telling you, the country will never move. If you have seen countries where leaders have stayed in power for a longer time, those countries are doing well in Africa. They're doing well. In Tuankan, look at a, a, a Kagame. Our Sungu, they can say whatever they want. Western countries will talk about democracy and whatever, whatever. But if Kagame was not president, if they were changing presidents in, in Rwanda, I'm telling you, Rwanda would not be what it is. Go to Libya. Libya was doing so well when Gaddafi was there because Gaddafi was there for a long time. Look at the Arab countries, Kumulukulia, eh? Egypt, Shan Shan. It is because they, their democracy was different from this democracy that Bazungus are teaching us. So this idea of, so no, no, we, we are a democratic country. Hey, we should change. Hey, we should change. Hey, we should change. When you are just changing governments every now and then, you don't build capacity. You don't. So for me, Uriaka in the as much as he has got all these weaknesses, for now, me, I'm saying, let the man continue. He's building capacity. And the best that we should do, the best that we should do, those of us who are in opposition, because we are the ones that talk, it is not to take advantage of these economic challenges. It's me to become president. Because this is now what we in opposition are doing. We are taking advantage of these challenges. We want now to come back. Because now democracy, democracy. Hey, we will see. We will come and vote you out. We are not building capacity. And those people that you want to vote for, do they have capacity? Do they have what it takes to do what you want them to do? This is patriotism speaking in me. Not a politician, but patriotism. Somebody who loves my country. Do they have what it takes? These people, they are taking advantage. Valungu, 
Bamona ukuchura kwa vena Zambia. Bamona ukuchura kwa vena Zambia. Eh, mulefu ambwele lepo. Eh, mulefu. Do you want me to come back? Do you want me to come back? I'll think about it. He's, he's hoping. He's hoping. He wants to capitalize on the challenges that are going on. But inga mawe pishabalungu to say, finishi mukesa achita. Uhunga mukabubwe shashani. Fertilizer. Mukabubwe shashani. Fuel, mukaibwe shashani. How are you going to reduce these commodities that we are talking about? How are you going to do it? How are you going to do it? Who is going to help you? Who is going? Who are you going to engage? Aramuevan too. Let us be real. Let us be real. Let us, let don't allow politicians, the selfishness of politicians, to use you Zambians. That's why. They are just shouting. They just want to, you know, to, to get there. They just want to get there, to get there. Once they get there, for them, they'll be fine. They will be okay. But you and I, for them, all they want is to get power. Balungo, all he wants is to get power. Nothing else. He wants to get power. But then, does he have the solutions? He doesn't have. He doesn't have the solutions, I can assure you. I'm challenging you. Imumwe wale ba tia awe lungu yu eche chale ya what what eh lungu abuere depo. Start telling us what balungu will do. How balungu is going to reduce the price of fuel. Let balungu tell us how he's going to reduce the price of milimil. You are comparing. You are comparing. Eh muri ba PF eh fiarifi muri ba UPND fiarifi. Are you, have you looked at the circumstances? Have you looked at the circumstances? But, have you, but by you, PND, you have even failed to respond to these issues where people are saying, no, Haka Inde Ichirema promised that fuel will be 10 kwacha. I know even me, I used to say that. I was doing politics. But the truth of the matter is that when Haka Inde Ichirema was talking about 50 kwacha, there was no war in Ukraine. When Yaka Inde Ichinema was talking about 10 kwacha, the Cold War that we have now between Biden and Xi Jinping was not there. So the circumstances have changed. Circumstances have changed. Yes, he said what he did, what he said. But the circumstances, there are factors that are around which even if he wanted it to be sold at 10 kwacha, it is not possible. The factors that we have now are totally different. The circumstances that we are living in now, when, when Haka and HDM was making those promises, are totally different than now. But has Haka and HDM got the courage to come and tell you that? He skates around such questions. He's not able to respond. He's not able to tell people to say, look, yes, I made you this promise. But unfortunately, the situation that we are in is this one. It's like we ulefu ayomu anakashi. And you tell this woman to say, if I marry you, I'm going to buy you this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. But when you get married, you find that your company has gone under liquidation and you are laid off. Are you telling me you are going to fulfill those things that you promised a woman? Eh? Maybe tamunfu ikishi, maybe you haven't heard. Let me go back. You have look, you are proposing a woman. Eh? You are proposing a woman. For example, you know, Elena Lefwa, Elena Lefwa Vanakia, Elena Lefwa Vanakia, Kwaliba PF, and Tuale Umfuan, and Avena Kaiza Zulu, Shan, 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 Shan. I'm telling you, this is the truth. Eh? When I was, pro when, I, when I met my wife, and I started contemplating marrying her, I considered the number of things. I said, hmm, Ababantubari Shupo Kusunga. Mwadishwa hili nkanda hili. Yadi wako ya shupa. Tababa chipi. Bari kwa takwa kamtengo. Ifi akuli ya shani, shani. So, eh, na ingiri la mo. Kwa wano tuma ya ticket, shani, shani. So, na na ingiri la mo. How am I going to manage? Will I manage to look after this woman? Believe you me, I used to talk to my friends. Before I got married, I used to talk to my friends. Iwe. Na tumina kwa iwe. Shani, shani. Eh, ukang, eh, no. No, to catch the but they, they they were promising me that no, actually we'll give you 
you know, something, we'll give you a business, we'll give you a number of things. And of course, Nadisa I pomp, I married my wife. But later on, what happened? PF is out of power. PF is out of power. Those business opportunities I was looking for, they never came. They never came. So now, I could have been promising. Good enough, I didn't promise my wife anything that like, she can say, no, no, I didn't promise my wife anything. But imagine I was promising my wife. And now PF is gone. Kaiza Zulu is gone. Nan Nan is gone. All those people that I was hoping that Kutiba Ampera Kutuma business opportunities, they are gone. Are you telling me my wife would be fair with me to say, Iwe, when I was in Ethiopia, you promised me that you're going to buy me a Range Rover. Would she be reasonable? Would she be reasonable? She wouldn't be reasonable. She wouldn't be reasonable. It is the same thing with Waka in the Ichirema. When Waka in the Ichirema was saying all those things, things were different. Things were different. The people that you were you was counting on, you was counting on America. America is also having its own problems right now. America is having its own economic challenges. Do you hear the ambassador boasting around? No, we are giving so much. America used to give a lot of money. But do you see? They are pulling back. They are pulling back. They are pulling back. They are cutting, 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 cutting the head that they were giving. So circumstances are different now. The problem, they don't have the courage to tell the people the truth. Tell the people the truth. You can't deliver. You can't give people 10 kwacha fuel. It is impossible. You can't. Circumstances are different. There are factors which are at play now, which were not there then. They were not there. Tell the people the truth. So, Nangumlanda No one can come in. No, the bus is full. No one can come in. Mleva tinshaishi. Why no? That's how you are. That's how you are. And yet, you are struggling with things that you are not even supposed to be struggling with. These issues of commodity prices, you shouldn't have failed to explain to people because it is not in your hands. Those promises that Akainde Ichirema made, they shouldn't have been very difficult for Banalumango to explain in parliament. But it's because you are behind you are not able to articulate issues properly. If you are a yes, you are a politics. Ah, come in here. No, Mbapa. That's why I said, ah, in an index, I'm not fighting for PF. I'm not fighting for UPND. I am fighting for the Zambian people. And I'm telling you the truth so that we look here, so that you can open your mind. Because once we open our mind, then we can start looking for actual solutions. Actual solutions. As long as we don't know the truth, as long as we start, we keep on skating, avoiding the truth, we will not find the solution. We will not find the solution. We will be looking at wrong things as solutions. We will be looking at Balungu at is a solution. Balungu solution, Imwe. Balungu solution. Eh? <laughs> so, let's look at the real solutions. No, haka in daf mepo. Haka in daf mepo. Who is going to come there? Everyone feels like they are not going to come there. They are not going to come But you see, it is out of thinking. I am going to hmm. Okay, but I am going to say that the HHF is going to be there. They are going to be there. They are going to be there. They are going to be there. Everyone feels like they That's how I change. I am going to say that. Hmm. Aba. Eh? Because I am going to change the child. You must even have people around you. Who could take a charo? It's not easy. Eh? Te chape pio. Te chamo anoseka. Ufido wa kwata avantu nkume kume. Nkume kume avantu wa walo ndoloka. Awaka tinga walo lishati yo padi kwa, padi kwa tomu tuwa. Namba mdara. Valungu even when he was in state house. He was surrounded. By renegades. Renegades, I'm sorry. You were surrounded by renegades. Ngabamukutina valumbula na mashina, but na muwe shura vamuwewe. 
You know some of these people. He was surrounded by those people. So what advice could they give him? That's how they even lost power. Even now, Valungu, Nina, who is surrounding him? Ero Nina, Nina, kwa takwa lesa limpala, nda lodesha. Vebati, you will be judged by your friends. You think me, I can be part of that group? Isa ngona Valungu, eh? You think I can be part of that group? Isa ngona Valungu, eh? <laughs> I can't be. I'm sorry. I can't be Ndara. I can't. I can't. I want when I sit with people. That's what I want. Not these people. Ah, imwe na imwe. So, this agenda, you are hating me. Hey, you are talking about Alewela, Alewela. Hey, stop talking about Walungu. Mm -mm. It, it will be a disaster. It will be a disaster. And okay, fine. You know, Valunga has got the right. If he wants to come back, he has got the right. He has got all the right to come back if he wants to come into politics. He has got all the right. But why Nish Valecha Irama politics Yakabisira? Why is he doing our politics Yakabisira? Why? Why is he doing our politics? He has got the right. No one is stopping him. No one, at, I haven't heard anyone who should who said, no, he shouldn't come back. Yes, I know by HH Valley and Dirati, and if I could wait up to Adikara Puka, the Kutumpa, he was doing my politics. My politics here. My politics here. So, Umunaven got charm of politics here. Now, who is a charm of politics here? Who is a charm of politics here? Ni counter. You don't, Muma politics, Muma politics, it's a game, and they say, don't make excuses when your friends make the move. In poli politics is a game. And they say, don't make excuses when your opponent makes a move. So if your opponent plays a fast one in politics, it is, it is, it is a weakness for you to start complaining to say, how, how can he tell me this? How can he say this? Counter with a political move. Counter with a political move, Mdara. If we have a politics, you don't start complaining, how we, hey, Anjibefi, Anjibefi, hey, Alandefi. No, 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 no. I'm a politics, if we have a Mdara. If I say, you can never be a president, you should counter that statement. To show that actually you can be a president. In the Michita counter, and the counter, and I respond to you. I respond to you. you. Do you hear me having excuses? Do you hear me say, no, I'm police. Hey, Shan Shani, let's go to court. I don't do that. Because that is not part of politics. That's not part of politics. Even when I'm arrested, my reaction, it is also political. Ngamwanji kata, nganaisa afuma, kula, ndana, landana, landana, mitoba ula, na mitoba ula. Because you have hammered me politically, using your power. You have hammered me politically. Mwanji kata, mwansenda, mwantola kuna nikane, atikuisa kulia. Eh, kulu kulu, you take me in rukuru mdala. Mwantola, pa! Mwaunfa wino, because you have got power. Na yani nji kala mulia, nkabato wa shani, ndefu mamulia mdala, Nafuma, eh, nakupona ka picture, walking mumpanga, showing, trying to garner public sympathy. Eh, tari ofwa churi lefi, haendere mumpanga. Na isa afika na, sava ina na, sava, ma politics. Ma politics. So Valungu, he doesn't have it. When I say Valungu, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it in him. He can't. He can't have it. He doesn't have it to counter politically. He has got all the right. Change Chileva Kanya, why Why is he not coming out? Why is he not coming out? We all know he wants to come back. He wants to come back. We all know. We all know. Even if you are naive. Eh? But surely you can see that Balung wants to come back. A journalist asked him. Mr. Pre uh, uh, Your Excellency, 
What do you say uh, to people who are saying that you want to come back into political power? How does he answer? You want me to come back? You want me to come back? You want me to come back? Happy to put a question. I'll think about it. I'm uh, about my politics. Uh, those are not politics, Mdala. Those are not politics. Eh? But he much fungo. Eh? Eh? I'm not going to be a politician. I'm not going to be a politician. I'm not going to be a politician. Kafi, kuch senseka. He doesn't have it, Valungu. He doesn't have it. Eh? Somebody was giving an a, an example. To, no, eh, Donald Trump. Eh? Eh? Donald Trump. They are victimizing him and they are making him popular. You think Valungu is anything like Donald Trump? Valungu ndemye Valungu. He has no influence now. Trust me, he doesn't have the influence that HH commanded when he was on, in opposition. And certainly you cannot compare the influence that Donald Trump has. Because when people treat you in a certain way, it is up to you now to react, to counter that political move. Being arrested as a politician is a political move. It's a political move. You have to counter it politically. But Valungu can't counter. He can't counter. He's nothing compared to Donald Trump. He's nothing. He's nothing compared to Donald Trump. And he doesn't have it. Valungu na pano pene ndela nda sova kapoko langa wale fuwa kutiwa apanga nda wale kata. Nothing would happen. Tapali ye. Epo badi. Tapali opo weminine Valungu. Tapali. Nde mie. So. He doesn't have it. He just doesn't have it much as he's seeing our weaknesses yamu economy and he thinks he can take it but he can't fight he can't fight that's why those of you who are fighting hey, fighting 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 be careful when you are fighting because you end up in problems and Valungu will not come and help you he has got all the right but clearly he doesn't have what it takes. For a point in the pangap, he has the right to come back and he's actually eligible to contest. Balungu is eligible to contest. But he himself, he doesn't have what it takes to fight for presidency. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. And, okay, fine. He wants to come back and he really wants to come back. What about my benefits? Should we continue paying a mama benefits when we know he wants to come back? No. No, I want you to listen to me very well on that point. Listen to me very well on that point. Valung wants to come back into power. If he wants to come back, should government continue paying him taxpayers' money? I know you will respond by saying he is a former president and therefore is entitled the framers of the law, they said the one who should be paid should not be active in politics. That's what they said. Should not be active in politics. What does it mean to be active in politics? You should not hold political office. You should not vie. You should not vie. You should not have intentions of contesting an election. On both of these two, Balungu is still a president of PF. He's still a president of PF. Yes, some of you are saying, no, he filed in a letter. There is a letter at cabinet. We know about that letter. We know about that letter. But what does the records, what does the record say at PACRA? What is legally binding between a resignation letter over to a cabinet and the letter that is uh, the, the, the documents at, at Registrar of Society? What is legally binding? Because some of you, you are thinking that my case is weak or I don't know what I'm doing. I want to ask you, what is legally binding between a resignation later at cabinet gathering dust and records at registrar of societies as president? What is binding? What is binding? I'm, I'm, I, and I hope Vamdara Attorney General, 
you are listening to me because this should help you in responding to us. It should help you in responding to us. You have to respond to our letter seven days and by the time it is seven days, I'll be in the country and we want to go to court. And so the Attorney General and all of you, whether you PND, Shan Shan Yuko, legal, whatever, your legal minds, I want you to think about it. What is more legally binding? A resignation letter at cabinet and the documents at PACRA. What is legally binding? The constitution is saying he should not hold office. But we go to PACRA, we go to register of societies, he's a president of PF. Two years down the line. Two years down the line. So what is legally binding? And then the second point I'm saying, he should not be, you know, he should not be uh, thinking of contesting an election. But clearly, he wants to contest an election. We have seen it in his action. We have seen it in the statements that are coming from uh, a number, a several senior PF members, several senior PF members. We have seen it in court documents. In the case of Mao but they are saying, no, we have a president. And we, and a, a, a given Rubinda is acting like this because is drawing powers from the president. That's what they say. PF constitution, they say when there is no president, it should be the secretary general to run the party. Who is running the party? Who has been running the party? So really, when you, when you are talking about, in, I don't just stand up and say, I'm going to court. When I am at the court, I am not going to court. Not for the one saying the others can sue me, can drag me, whatever. But for me to go to court, it means I have researched and I'm sitting on good evidence. That case, clearly, government is abrogating the constitution. They are very wrong to pay President Edgar Chagwalungu money. We have got documentations. We have got court documents. We have got statements. There is no way Valungu can survive this one. There is no way the Attorney General can give us any argument that we can take to say, no, what we are doing is right. What they are doing, what this government is doing is illegal. It is illegal. Edgar Lungu is still president of PF. Edgar Lungu is still, is still empowering people, is still appointing people. Who appoints the Secretary General? Nakachinda was recently appointed. Who appointed Nakachinda? Who appointed Nakachinda? Eh? Who appointed Nakachinda? Where did they get the powers to appoint Nakachinda? Where did they get the powers? And why are they saying, no, don't pay former presidents? Why did the framers of the law say, don't pay the former presidents? Listen to this point. Why did they do that? Why they did this is that if government will be paying a former president his dues, if government will be paying a former president his dues and is active in politics, he will be disadvantaging other opposition, other political players. If you say Valungu is a president of PF and I'm president of Economic and Equity Party, and then there is an election, then Valungu, because he's a former president, he is receiving fuel, he's receiving vehicles, he's receiving a people, and he's receiving a salary. Don't you think that is unfair to me? That is why the framers of the law said they should not be paid when they are active in politics. Because if you do that, you are creating an imbalance. There are other presidents who are not getting anything from government. And yet this former president is getting things from government. That is an imbalance. That is why they said you should not be active in politics. You should not hold a position. You should not vie for elections. Because if you do, you it will mean that government is sponsoring your political activities. Government is sponsoring your political activities. That is why I'm going to court. It is not to betray Valungu. Uh -uh. Um, I want to level the playing field. If Valungu is playing politics, let us all be presidents. 
without drawing money from government. That is the, my reasoning and those are my intentions. And I'm very resolved. We are waiting for seven days. As soon as it is seven days, the, if um, the Attorney General does not respond to us in a satisfactory manner and they don't stop paying him and recover the money because we have to recover the money as well. We are not just saying stop. We want the money to be recovered as well. Because so far, the records are showing that he's the president of PF. And why is cabinet paying him? So that money must be recovered until such a time when he's no longer holding a position of president. At the moment, Valungu holds a position of PF presidency. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.